Guys, behold, a Leviathan-themed ant terrarium. We have named the Dragon's Den. It's definitely one of, if not the most epic of creations in all my years of ant keeping, housing a massive colony of millions of ants. We call the Leviathans. We'll get to see their incredible numbers in a bit when they form their nightly swarms, emerging from this nest portion of the setup where the colony lives. You guys will be shocked at just how large this ant colony has grown. But brace yourselves, because along this elongated and twisting rock body of this sea monster they call home, our leviathans are about to reveal themselves as they emerge to feed. And you guys will be mind blown by how this entire leviathan-themed terrarium comes to life when the ants come out to feed. In fact, AC family, check this out. The head of the sea dragon. Every dusk, the sea dragon emits a humidifying mist from its mouth. And for these ants, it's a time to celebrate. Because you see, these ants are nocturnal, which means they wake up at night. And these mists signal the onset of evening, perfectly matching the humidity level rise in the wild at night. Which means this dragon's breath is like the colony's alarm clock. These ants have been resting all day, waiting specifically for this hour. And they've already begun to send out early bird scouts to begin looking for food. This here is last night's meal offering. The remains of a cookie. The ants love their sweets. Here's another site with cookie leftovers, which they will salvage as an appetizer to tonight's epic meal. As the dragon's breath grows in intensity, so too does the ant's figure. Now watch this, guys. Once the misty dragon's breath shuts off, now comes the first wave of scouts. It's amazing how they've learned that feeding time is imminent. This initial team of ants rush out of the nest to cover all areas of their territory, making sure that if food were to be randomly dropped somewhere, at least one of them would find it, and thereby signal to the entire colony that food had arrived. Each of these ants is connected by a very effective communication system via pheromones, chemical signals that deliver specific information to all nearby ants, making each one of these ants like individual neurons of a brain, capable of delivering messages across vast distances, which you guys will get to see in action in a bit. In fact, collectively, these ants are better than a brain's neurons because they can move. The Leviathan's collective hive mind surveys the land, gathering information more effectively than any animal's eye could. But the sole information each one of these ants is looking for now is where to find the colony's next meal. And we're about to witness the natural splendor of how these ants eat now. My precious Leviathans, I, your creator of worlds, have arrived once again to provide you with tonight's feast. I see you hungry and ready, pouring forth from the dragon's mouth like a tongue desiring satiation. Just one moment, my loves. I approached the great roach tank and began to select tonight's sacrifice. Thank you, Roach, for being the one to give up your life to nourish my ant colony. Proceeding now to Dragon's Den. The roaches of the Great Roach Tank let out a sigh of relief that they were each living another day. But as for this one, it shall die now. Goodbye. Pre-killed by slicing. 
This will speed up the death process for this roach, and also allow the ants to much more easily feed on its innards. Now where to place the roach? I like to change up the feeding location every night, just to keep the leviathans on their toes. Or tarsi, rather. Hmm. You know what? Let's make the leviathans work, and truly appreciate their swarm and trailing behaviors. Let's place the roach all the way at the dragon's tail. Placing in the roach. Done. And now I see family. It's time to witness the leviathans emerge in all their swarming glory. Welcome to the Ants Canada Ant Channel. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Welcome to the AC family. Enjoy. AC family, this is probably one of my favorite feeding videos on this channel. And you guys will see exactly why as soon as the Leviathan Swarm emerges and drags this roach kill back home into their nest. But keep on watching until the end, as I have a very important question to ask you, and we'll be needing your help regarding our Leviathans here. Just a warning though, it may be a shocker. Alright, so the moment I placed the roach down, nearby ants immediately inspected the roach and began to waft pheromones, signaling food discovery into the air for nearby ants to smell. And you guys will be amazed at how quickly this message spreads and makes its way back to the nest all the way home. Like an electrical message shooting through neurons of a nervous system all the way to the main brain, i.e. the colony back at the nest. In fact, it looks like the message has already begun to travel through the air to surrounding ants. Look at the mad rush of scouts coming in. You can clearly see which ants are rushing back home to tell the colony, releasing food pheromones all over the place, and which ants had gotten the message and were rushing to the site to help process the food. The ants rushing home are screaming in an ant way its exciting messages of roach bounty in the lowlands. And look, check out the amazing swarm of ants that have just come pouring out of the nest hungry and eager to start feeding. The sight takes my breath away every single time. Take note, these shots are not time-lapsed. This is the ant's normal speed as they hurry to the feeding site. It's important they move as quickly as possible in case some larger other creature were to arrive and steal their precious find. This speed was a matter of survival and these ants were on a mission of epic proportions. More and more ants emerge from the dragon's mouth like a never-ending army battle crying bravely to war. And speaking of war, watch this guys. A major, see it? The colony had sent out its initial team of majors, larger workers with big heads that make this species quite famous. And you'll see what the major's important jobs are through all of this soon. The ants rush down this near vertical wall masterfully, perhaps the most challenging part of the terrain when they bring the food back home. And you guys will love what that looks like. The roach was now covered in ants, all starting the breakdown and transport process. Take a look at how eager they all are. These ants know this fattened roach will be enough to feed their entire colony of millions for 24 hours. But this is not it. Wait until you see the full swarm once they fully arrived. No one cares about that cookie right now. They want their steak today. Watch this epic ant swarm, guys. This is truly one of the most beautiful sights in ant keeping. Could you imagine being one of these ants sprinting en masse 
to a location several kilometers away, at a constant speed, with no break, across unforgiving terrain, to get to the food. It's just an incredible display of stamina and physicality, if you think about it in human terms. I marvel at the trail every night when I feed them. Check them out scaling this vertical wall like gravity is nothing. I just love these ants. Up close, it almost looks like the ants make little jumps for joy as they race along. In the wild, these ants have been known to form trails that cover literal kilometers to get to food. So I bet this commute was a breeze for these ants. They travel down the back of the dragon, knowing they were getting close to the promised meal beyond. Arriving to the scene now, we can see that the roach is even more blanketed in ants. Let's now take a closer look and examine what is going on here at their level. So all the ants here have an important set of jobs to accomplish with regards to this roach. Some ants are eating on site, filling up their social stomachs so they could head back home to feed the ants and brood back at the nest. Other ants are working at deconstruction of this roach to make transport home easier. And others are just around for protection. How ants decide which of these tasks to do once they arrive on site is a bit of a mystery. But regardless, the ants' decision-making system, as a collective, is alarmingly efficient. Which is no wonder ants have been around on Earth for millions and millions of years. Millions before humans ever began to walk the planet. They act as a single superorganism, and their trails are like appendages, long tentacles shooting out from the main nest with the sole purpose of bringing food back to the colony to eat. Even after 30 minutes since the arrival of the roach, the colony is still sending out workers to process the food, all ants moving with the same sense of urgency. But eventually, the colony will reach its peak saturation in the amount of workers it needs to process the roach. And when it does, the hardest part of the work will start. But for now, it seems the Leviathans are still calling for more ants to help. After watching the ants send out workers for the first hour, I decided to come back later and check up on the progress. But what I ended up witnessing and filming when I came back a few hours later truly left my jaw on the floor. Coming back to the dragon's den, I saw this. Half a roach. The ants had successfully sawed the entire thing in half. Majors were now seen actively patrolling the site. They'd begun the long journey lugging it back home. Here was the second piece, also covered in ants and patrolled by Majors. I held my breath as I noticed the first piece begin to fall over the edge. Ah! The ants clamored to keep it from falling down into the abyss below. You must remember that this piece alone is many times heavier than the ants. So this was no easy task by any means. But that's what the majors are for. These larger majors with big heads don't only specialize in chopping the roach up, but also in pulling and handling the roach pieces. And of course, defense. It's at every feeding time that I realize just how valuable these majors are to the colony. Because without their great strength and jaw force, this job would be so much harder. Watching the regular worker ants work hand in hand in synergy with the majors was truly beautiful to watch. Worth noting, not all ant species have major workers, but these marauder ants certainly do, which is one of the many reasons why I love them. Ah, peace falling over again. No worries though, I knew they could handle this. Eventually the ants managed to pull up the first piece and continue with the trek. This actually was now the toughest part of the feeding process, bringing the food back home. The ants could just leave the food here and feed on site, 
which is what they do for food that is too heavy for the ants, like the mouse I once fed them. But if the ants feel they can carry the food pieces home, they'll roll up their sleeves and do it, because this ensures the food security. It was a long way back home. I mean, look, they need to pull the food down here, all the way through here, up this vertical wall, all the way around here, down here, across here, and finally to the tongue and mouth of the sea dragon. It was now 2 a.m. and I decided to head to bed, hoping to wake up early the next morning to see if all the pieces were inside the nest. Three hours later, right before sunrise, I caught this. Yes, I was right on time to watch the ants carry this huge piece up the vertical wall. The hardest part of the transport. Slowly and carefully, with the strong help of majors, the ants lifted the roach piece up the wall. With enormous strength, the majors used their great size to chomp down on key locations of the roach and pulled the bulk of the weight up the wall. It was amazing to witness. Wouldn't you like to be as strong as one of these majors lifting a huge car up while clinging onto a vertical wall? Go, Leviathans, go! You may think some of these ants on the roach piece are just adding dead weight, but they're just feeding on the pieces while transporting it as well as guarding it, in case a creature comes along to steal it. Alrighty, see family, and now I'm going to time-lapse these shots a bit as they reach the dragon's mouth. So let's just sit back and enjoy the ants doing their thing. Enjoy watching the ant labor. Okay guys, the ants were now approaching the dragon's mouth, masterfully lugging the roach piece across the rough terrain. The ants knew they were close now. A party of ants danced around the roach piece as it was paraded home in celebration of the epic feast that would nourish millions of ants and the queen within the nest. As the ants carried the roach chunk onto the dragon's tongue, it was a legendary sight to witness, kind of like the symbolic swallowing of the roach piece into the leviathan's throat and later belly. Have a look at the great swallowing event. Into the shadows of the mouth, the roach went.
and swallowed. Now let's have a look at what I like to see as the belly of the colony now, the nest. Here comes the roach through the esophagus. The ants now had just a little more to go. Carrying the roach pieces across the surface of the nest. And finally, into the belly of the colony, falling down into the nest hole. Okay, AC family, and now to show you the epic interior of the nest. On this side, you can actually see all the cool exposed tunnels against the glass. This side is constantly exposed to light, so I'm actually quite surprised the ants don't mind building tunnels and chambers here. It's quite amazing. Have a look. Wow, there's a roach piece. The ants continue breaking the roach down and feeding, but less urgency now that they're within the safety of their nest. Now, each of these ants are like gut fauna, digesting a freshly consumed meal. You see how the ants are like a super organism? Okay, so now that you've seen this side of the nest, it's time to check out the other side, which I cover up with Bristol board. Opening it up. Whoa! The sight every time I look into their nest just takes my breath away. And look, there's one of the elusive super majors. They're shy. Look at the brood. It was amazing to think that these ant babies would soon be nourished by that one roach we had fed them. It would go on to feed all these ants and their queen, so she could lay more eggs and grow this colony even larger. Look at the tunnels, guys. They now extend down all the way to the bottom. This entire nest and setup is truly a dream ant farm. Some of the pieces that had been broken off from the main roach pieces were still on their way back to the nest. But these pieces were lighter and didn't need the help of majors. Once the ants were done with roach pieces, they would lug any leftover exoskeleton out of the nest and dump them somewhere outside the dragon's mouth. Kind of like how an owl regurgitates leftover bones from a meal. And when they do, it's my job to come along and clean it up. Overall, it was such an honor to be able to witness our leviathans feeding like this every night. I think it's easy for most people to look at ants and dismiss them as gross or boring little pests that the world would be better without. But if you look much more closely and appreciate them as a whole, as a super organism, you'll realize that ants are actually truly mind-blowing, truly a wonder of nature, and truly a sine qua non for life to exist on the planet. Because without these industrious and hard-working eusocial insects to break down dead insects, and take their place as one of the world's most important cleanup crews, we would cease to exist. They've been here for millions of years and aren't going anywhere anytime soon. I'll be sure to keep you guys updated on this now thriving ant colony, our precious leviathans. So please remember to hit that subscribe button to follow this continuing ant story and hit the like button to let YouTube know you enjoy these ant videos and that they're worth sharing to new audiences Thank you so much for watching and supporting the ants. It's ant love forever. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. At the start of the video, I mentioned I'd be asking you a very important question. So at this point, roaches are starting to become such small meals for the leviathans. I'm thinking to perhaps try something a bit more substantial. I've already tried a mouse, which they consumed in a day. 
AC family, let me know what you think of this. Do you think they're ready? Hope you can subscribe to the channel as we upload every Saturday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video to help us keep making more. It's Ant Love forever.